Digital Golf Doc here, and today I want to talk about upper back or shoulder pain in the golf swing. Now, you might have it when you actually swing, and it might not catch up to you after the round. But either way, this is a really common problem I've seen year after year working with golfers. The treatment is fairly simple, but it comes down to assessing what the major problem is. Since you won't be able to do that in the video, I'm going to give you the top three exercises I give to people with this pain, and it's going to address three things. The first thing is the tissue mobility of their upper back. The second is the joint mobility of the thoracic spine or rib cage. And the third is the strength and stability of those muscles in the upper back that attach to the shoulder blade. If you target these three things, it's very likely you'll get rid of this pain in a matter of weeks. The first thing we're going to address in this video is the muscle tension in your upper back and those muscles that attach to your shoulder blades. I like to use what's called a tune-up ball which is just a little bit squishy, but still firm enough to provide adequate pressure. Now, you can also get away with using a baseball, sometimes a tennis ball or a golf ball, although they're not ideal. I put a link to this ball in the description of the video if you want to track one down for yourself. You're going to take that massage ball or similar tool and place it right in the area that you feel that discomfort during your golf swing. So it's often easiest to take your opposite arm for the opposite shoulder blade, find that pressure spot, you're going to lean your weight onto it. It's going to feel a little uncomfortable. And then you're going to roll around on that uncomfortable spot. You can bend your knees and hips and go up and down. You can twist to go side to side. Again, noting there's going to be some discomfort, but this is a trigger point release. It's a lot like a sports massage in that there's a little discomfort, but it actually goes a long way to helping the muscle relax and feel better during active movements after. Exercise two is going to allow us to address the joint mobility of our thoracic spine and our rib cage. So we're going to have to make sure to be a little picky with the movements so that we get the joints and not just everything else. So you're going to start on your knees. You'll rock back to sit towards your heels. If you can't go all the way back, that's fine. Next, we're going to drop a forearm to the ground, other hand to the back of our head. Starting with our elbow on the ground, we're going to rotate as far out as we can. Open our chest up to the wall and come back down. And we're going to repeat that, looking to feel that tension in our upper back or shoulder blade area. If you get a little bit of an odd feeling in your upper back, like I've never felt that exact movement before, you're probably feeling your rib, your rib mobility. Now, I happen to have a bunch of other exercises that target the same thing, so you'll see a link to that popping up on the video. Exercise three is going to address the strength and stability of that upper back and shoulder blade region. All you need is a band, and I'm going to give you two variations. The first variation is simply a band pull apart. We're just going to stand in a comfortable, stable position, arms out front, elbows straight, and from here we're going to pull the band apart and squeeze our shoulder blades back. Now, you're going to see a pop-up here of a close-up on the shoulder blade muscles, and you can see as that muscle contracts, it pulls the shoulder blade back, but it really helps you get the focus of where that squeeze should be so you can perform this correctly on your own. A lot of times I'll try that for about a week, maybe two, and then I'll progress to a more golf specific version. For that, I set up in a hinge position, more like setup posture with the band out front. I'm gonna keep this left arm still as I pull the right arm away and rotate and then come back down. Pull it away and rotate. And this is one we can do on both sides. The reason I like this is because it puts a stress on the shoulder blade muscles that's a little more similar to the exact type of stress that happens in the golf swing, which is very valuable in this situation. To summarize, we're gonna use these three exercises to finally get rid of that nagging pain in your upper back or shoulder blade area. The first exercise with the massage ball is going to serve to reset the muscle tissue tension in that area and allow us to add flexibility and strength later. The second exercise, the lumbar lock thoracic rotation, is going to allow us to create more mobility in that area, both in the tissue itself as well as the joints of the thoracic spine and the ribs. The final exercise, the band pull aparts, both the normal and the golf specific version, are going to allow us to strengthen the area, build resilience there, to make it stronger so it can resist those immense forces we put on it during the golf swing and keep this problem from coming back again. Put these three exercises together, knock them out daily, 
in the prescribed repetitions we talked about earlier. And I think you're going to see results in the next few days and get rid of that pain completely in just a few weeks. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and I look forward to hearing your success stories. Have a great day.